Oh, crap. I'm on camera. Oh, shit. Bear with me, folks. Bear with me. I can't chew or swallow any faster than this. I know what kind of food I'm eating. Seafood. Ah. Seafood. Ah. Almost. There. Admire the shirt. See the shirt? Admire the shirt. Okay. Hello again, folks. I apologize for taking this long to complete this thought. Uh, that is, I apologize to those who are legitimately watching this, which I think is few and far between. But who cares? Uh, assuming you're here, I would like to thank you for watching this, the third part of How I Feel We Should Live as a Species. Um, this is the third installation. I don't quite remember what went into the first two. Uh, but anyway, I'm assuming you've watched those since this is the third. Uh, I'm just going to take off my glasses. All right. So, I'm going to cut to the chase here. The death penalty. Now, I remember I said that in the abortion part, which I believe was the second, I said that I tend to waffle on that a bit. I don't really have a clear stance, but I must say I don't have a clear stance on the death penalty either. I know that there are some folks who uh, think it should be abolished, and I can totally respect that. And I, I can... Ugh, pardon me. I can see why uh, some people would want to keep it. I think it should be a dead last resort. Uh, no pun... Okay, pun intended. I say that to say, um, well, first of all, murderers only. It, rapists, I mean, obviously rapists should also be punished severely, um, and not with rape, because, uh, I, I don't really think that's fair, and besides, you know that if you use that as the punishment, then there's going to be lots of perverts who go around raping people just so they can be raped for their punishment because they want it. You know who you are. No. Uh, the death penalty should only be given to murderers. Of Obviously, once we know that, you know, there's no question this person committed that murder. And we also don't want to do it for first-time offenders. Um, you know, I believe we should all have a chance to straighten up our act. So... What I'm saying here, please excuse me, I'm somewhat tired. What I'm saying in a nutshell is, uh, if you've committed two, if you commit two murders, and that would include in the same instant, if it's a double homicide, and we, there is absolutely no question that you committed the murder, um, uh, John Q. Since, uh, you know, the everyman. John Q. Yeah, everyman. John Smith. If John Smith commits two murders over any stretch of time, you know, even if he commits one murder when he's uh, 23, and we imprison him for that, and blah, 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 he lives his life up until he's 64, and he commits another murder, and both times he's been convicted, there's no question that it was this John Smith who committed that murder, murder one, and then the other murder, uh, 44 years later, or whatever I said, you get the point, I hope. Then they say, okay, John Smith is to be put to death. Now, um, exactly how it will be done, well, uh, I guess lethal injection works, because, you know, the chair doesn't always work. But, and of course, lethal injection, we wouldn't bother sterilizing the needle, right? Because we all know, we all know, I think everybody knows about that at this point. Yeah, here in the States, in those uh, places where they do solve the death penalty, uh, I think I'm going to sneeze at uh, <laughs> Texas! Ah, pardon me. <coughs> you know, they uh, sterilize the needle before they give the lethal injection, which, you know, has about as much 
point to it as a soccer ball. But hey, I didn't make that law. If I did, well, it would be somewhat like the one I'm putting forth here. Uh, well, I, I guess uh, go with the guillotine, but make sure you're sharp. Well, maybe I could do it like that episode of The Twilight Zone where you choose how you're going to be uh, liquidated, as they put it. Yeah. Okay, um... So yes, first time murderers are quote-unquote off the hook. I mean, obviously they would still be punished. Uh, a couple of years in jail, uh, some community service, a hefty fine. And I'd also make the murderer apologize to the family. And the family also gets to say what they think of the murderer. But that's it, you know. I think that's it. I honestly can't remember if I was going to say anything else. This would be the perfect time to get off topic, but I'm not going to do that. You want to listen to a few more seconds of Wasp? Let's listen to a few more seconds of Wasp. Okay. Uh, well, I have no bonus points for anybody who can tell me the Wasp song based on the excerpt, but... If you can, yay you. You are, um, knowledgeable in your 80s metal. And yes, I am also somewhat knowledgeable in 80s metal. Okay, um, yeah, I've just carried on long enough. I'm gonna go back to this Chinese food that I ordered a few hours ago, and, uh, I'll be calling it a night sometime fairly soon. Till then... I'm Charles, a.k.a. TitanNerd68, and you're not. At least I hope you're not. Uh, stay classy, YouTube, and be intelligent. Please. For the love of whatever divine figures may or may not exist that you may or may not believe in, be intelligent. <laughs>